ended up having to change because boy it is cold out here oh they changed the thing babe look okay. you see it's in different color it's in color now okay yeah so um sorry guys <laughs> got a little bit distracted for a second so yeah we were just on our way um we just left the house literally just left the kids in our home they're getting some stuff done so but the temperature has changed dramatically last night it was what was it two yeah the temperature dropped down to two so we finished eat breakfast we're out it's about 12 noon now oh, a little bit later than that yeah and all the trees are changing color as well guys everything is uh fall is really here and they're so popular so they did something they shut off oh lord oh yeah guys oh i got into a little thing the other day where i let me tell you it's the mercy of god that you know i'm still here i got a little bit shooken up after um almost getting into an accident the other day um i was driving and you know it's a good thing i wasn't going like 80 or 90 because trust me i I don't know what would have happened. I was so shaken up, like I literally panic. <laughs> well, I didn't fully panic. Yeah. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you doing? Oh yeah. Oh, I think that's probably what it was. Okay. The other day too. So what happened was, it was driving the car. Um, me and one of my girlfriends from school and um, we were driving on the way home and um, what happened was I was driving and then I'm like there, we're talking and there was a car before me and a car behind me and the, they were doing construction on the road we were going so basically the other side of the lane they were working on it so basically the lane going up became two lanes going down and going up, right? And the car, like our, my car was just driving and it was not stopping. I was pressing on the brakes and there was no brakes. I kept pressing and I was like, it's a good thing I wasn't even going downhill because that would even be more scary because you know, going downhill a car. Pick up speed, but thank God to the Almighty. That's why I say, guys, it's always good. You know, say a little prayer. You don't even have to pray and let nobody know that you're praying because as long as God knows you're praying and you know, you say, Say a little prayer, you get up in the morning, like I say, I always pray in the morning before I, my feet touches the ground. That's one of my thing that I do in the morning. And I always pray before I shut my eyes at night. Whether I pray out or I pray inside, I, would, I always pray. And I pray in the middle of the day. And every time I'm leaving my house, I always pray that, you know, God guides me on my journey to get me safe to my destination and return safely to wherever I'm going. And I always pray for my husband too because I know he gets up so early and his distance of driving is so far. But what I'm trying to say guys, it's important. Prayer, it's always good to pray and always pray. Because as much as you think that you know, you're just there living your life, in a split second you could lose your life like that. A lady lost her life the other day on the highway and um, it just referred back to my whole situation. Her car stalled and she got into an accident like she died she literally died and I was like that could have been me imagine if at that time my car was on the highway and I was pressing a brake and there was no brakes and I literally would have had to pull up the emergency brake but sometimes you're panicking and not even thinking about that I literally had to shut off the car so I shut the car and the, the car kind of just jammed like that and I was like, if that was me on the highway, I probably would not be here today, right? And I had put on the four way and I was basically in the lane that was going down so nobody could even pass because if somebody was passing, they couldn't pass. And I was coming too close to the car and as I'm pressing the brake, the brake is not going. You know, usually the brake would, and the car is going Vroom! So that was the most scariest thing ever because this isn't the first time I've been in a car accident. I've been in a car accident a few years back um, where I was pressing the brake, like literally flooring the brake. The brake was touching the floor and there was no brakes. 
but I could do a story of time on that if you guys wanted to hear about that that one was a scare within itself and I literally had to jump out of the car so I could do a story time on that one and let you guys know what happened with that and you know the end results well at least the end results I'm alive today to tell the tale but with the other day this just remind me but the only thing is the brake was not flooring I was pressing it and I'm pressing it and it's not going down and as I panic I basically just shut the car off and it's like you know it's like not even thinking I was like okay I need to pull up the handbrake I shut the car off because that's the first thing I was like it must stop something but then that could also be dangerous too because depending on the speed that you're going you could actually flip your car by doing that right so for those that did not know um so after that I was panicking I literally had to I, I started shaking after and I called Mario like panicking like babe the car the car and I was like I'm putting press and brake and it's not working it's not working I was like where are you you need to pick me up he's like uh I don't have a car I can't pick you up I was like oh my god because I thought he was home so that was something scary within itself but as I turned the car back on the car was like and I pressed on the brake still no brakes the brakes were still not pumping down and I don't know what was going on and I shut the car off again you know had my four I way on and I tell you like people in this life and in this time and day and age they have no consideration of nobody but their self because mm, no straight. yeah straight we are going we're going over the highway right no consideration of anybody I was like I'm looking at it okay you know I'm I'm in scrubs okay I'm in scrubs whatever it's not even that okay so I'm I'm there and as two young females a person the person behind us our whoever like they're literally they're honking have some consideration when you see somebody's four-way on obviously it's an emergency you have two young female in the car and instead of you stop and say are you guys okay you know what happened I see that you stop in the middle of the road on the four-way on like people you have a lot of people like where is your guys consideration nowadays like it's so sad to see the world that we live in that when somebody sees somebody emergency break on they can't stop and especially when they look and see two young females to stop to assist them instead they're hawking their horn and running on the window and looking and yet they don't even stop like it could be a life or death situation and this is what i mean like i i say this day in day out i'm like people's heart are so cold I said at least one thing I could give for people back home in Jamaica when they see something like that or see somebody on the side of the road right they at least have the decency to stop or wind down the window and slow down and they're like yo my youth you all right everything okay I said that's one thing with island people I have to give them that you know they, they will stop and then we say you all right you know everything okay and then try to help even though they're not paramedic they're not nurses they're not doctors they're not trained in any medical field they are still willing to stop whether it's to make a phone call or well sometimes take a picture <laughs> or a video based on what's going on but the fact that they stop but they still try to help those that's the most important thing all right the only other the only reason i see somebody wouldn't stop in, in back home is like you know if it's like really dark sometimes people are skeptical because you have people that do set up people purposely and they you know will stop and if them trying to rob somebody or, or if that's the case right but like the consideration you there's two young females in the car the emergency light is the um the emergency light is on and you don't even stop to find out if we're okay what's going on if you they need to call 911 like something and yet the people them they just honk they're honking their horns you know and it, this is why i say like you know today for me tomorrow for you because at the end of the day that that same person that was rushing to wherever they're going they could have been the next person up meeting an accident something happened to their car and on instant they're gone you know so in life you you definitely have to be mindful of stuff like that i i don't know if it's just me but i the world that we're living in is just getting colder and colder it's not necessarily the world sorry it's the people in this world right they're just getting colder and colder and like the heart 
the heart is not there the care the humanity like it's it's not there like one time and it's just sad but anyway so that was just my little um scare um that i had to just wanted to come by and tell you guys and i am okay and thank you thank you guys for everybody that had seen my little post that i put up and reached out to me and asked if i was okay thank you so much for that um yeah for a while i didn't drive the car because you know i was you know i was shooken up so i didn't want to drive i didn't go want to go anywhere but um you know at the end of the day you can't let because something like that it stop you from doing what you have to do you know you gotta go on life continues so you just now you take even more precaution now like when i go in i slam on the brakes like drive a little bit slam on the brakes like just in the parking space um i pull up the handbrake make sure everything is working you know and make sure my phone is always fully charged because <sighs> i don't know and it, it, it's scary because it just happened in a split second and I was not expecting it and the good thing is I was close to home you know I wasn't far from home so that wasn't too bad because if anything I would have literally just had to leave the car where it is and walk home so I still gotta give thanks no, yeah. so we are on our way um, to store oh man my throat is a little bit dry um because the weather like i said the weather is changing so because that's changing like uh, everything so i will be back i'll check back in if we don't see what we need to find we can maybe check over here as well so we're going in <gasps> always gotta put on this mask we're doing a little bit of record shopping <laughs> Are you amazed? Oh, Lord. Alright. So the, the fines have gotten even more stricter. All oh, the hours have changed in here. Oh, look, they got all the um the silver studdings. Look at this. Yes, guys, I love home decor. Home decor. They're wrapped the home game. Oh, they can go sit and take pictures. <laughs> What did you just say, sir? <laughs> okay, so we've actually found what we were looking for and um, we bought it and stuff, so they'll be delivering it uh, next week. This one is just been giving beer trouble in other people them store. Oh. Yo! Beer trouble in people them store. So we are people trouble in other people them store. So we are out and we're just having a drive out, you know? Just having a little me and hubby time. Right, Snuckums? Oh. Really Mario? What's it about me? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> so we're just having yeah, Where's the woman I put my corona on your face? put in your eye then. Eh? I just got you driving up. Bright. Guys, anytime I come in another car, my hand sanitize my hand. And I hand sanitize my hand when I went into the store. And I wasn't even touching anything in the store. Not even a door. Because it automatically opened. So, we we to take a drive out. Oh. It good? No, I know that may ask you. It make me nervous. Oh, you can't wait one soup over there, oh, What? Oh. You, do you hear what he's telling me? People always telling me to go away. Really? Really, Biebs? Huh? You really tell me to go away? Yeah, one of these days, I'm going to get up and left your post no, joke. Wake up when the traffic light change. Wake up, you better try not play with me. <laughs> Wake up when the traffic light change. Yeah, we have. Can you move on? Huh? It changed? Oh god. Why you not stop me talking? Eh? Maybe make me not sleep in a bit. What do you mean I mean make you not sleep in a bit? Babe. Still early, you wake me up. I still early. You're such a liar. <laughs> yeah, I am you're not even a liar no. Uh oh. oh. How are you put on the sirens? He just did a U-turn right in front of the police car. I don't think you knew that was the police. 
You're not supposed to do a U-turn there. So I'll come in and see if a, a police put on his hair and go pull him over. Yeah, like so it. when we wake you up and bring your breakfast to bed, you shouldn't eat it then. Yeah, you can't come back. I can't come and he walks it off, guys. He walks so off. Go back to sleep. go back to sleep and we see you up there in our bed they watch a movie. Movie, but they watch me too. <laughs> you see, we have to put up with this is a day in and day out basis. It gives a whole heap of trouble. One bag of trouble. So we're just taking some time for ourselves um, just to get out because, as you know, it's getting cold. Getting cold out here. Baby, I'm gonna go get one soup. I was telling him that I felt like, you know, some yeah, no, soup. Well, make me have things, you know. When last, you, when last you cook, eh? When last have you made me supper, Mr. When Williams? Last Williams, yeah, Miss Williams. No, 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 no excuses. That's no, a whole big, ex that's a whole of excuses. <laughs> a whole of excuses. Me, that's an excuse that's business, one, eh? Only, that's only one no, that, that's an excuse. Without your present, there is nothing can be done. Mm -hmm. yeah, what do you mean? That, no, things can still get done. Oh, oh yeah, dog? Yeah, big <laughs> one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you still here turning now? You can't tell me that. Here and now. Alright, not turn the dead. Not turn the dead. Alright, we'll go for that. <laughs> Mario, I'm not playing with Wait, you. No, I'm not Mario! What? Why you don't start you talking? Eh? You know, I'm going to send you back where you come from. Indeed. <laughs> oh, God. Mario! What? <laughs> really? Yeah. He died a couple months ago. I'm and more than a couple months ago. can't go back. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so we're just having some time for us. <laughs> as I said to you guys. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're gonna go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Who are you? <laughs> Me and you. Me and my partner in crime here. What you say? Bonnie and Clyde action today. Eh? Bonnie and Clyde. Can you hear me song? You know it. Can you hear, can you hear that song? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And what song is that? How is more people are doing here? They don't know yard. <laughs> you know it's a corona time. Uh, them would ask you the same thing. What are you doing down here? Huh? You see my oh, man. How many do take pictures? <laughs> what kind of ugly pants are you wearing? Jesus. Mer. No sir. What you want? At least they know so you can't find them. It's so disgusting. Eh? <laughs> now we ended up we're in Home Depot. <laughs> we're from one place, one store to the next, to the next. So I am just waiting on Mr. Williams. To... What are we getting now? Mary, Mary. How much is that? Is it, is it really necessary though? Is it necessary? Not how all fears we see. No one will left. We can't sink on the Titanic. Fight for you, you fight for me. Die for you. Emma when them tell us they make one be the wife for you. I think the pass how we pass it just like an interlude. Or they meet how them greet is like we life for interview. That in the days I know it's every day.